Hey y'all, it's Tanya, VSG Tanya 2011, and I'm coming in with my week 60 update. Um, uh, I'll do the numbers first, uh, since that's what I was freaking out about last week. Um, at the beginning of the journey, I was 272.8, and last week I had had a four point something pound gain, and I was freaking out. I was 167.3. Um, this morning I was 165.9, which is just a 1.4 pound loss. Um, and the thing is, I'm not going to really try and focus on that so much. I, I'll, I will say quickly that I, I did not avoid the scale completely all week until this morning because uh, I'm addicted to the scale, but I'm working on it. Um, on Friday, I actually weighed, but I didn't look at the scale. I had my husband look at the scale, but not tell me how much I weigh um, just because I wanted to, to, have, uh, to ask him later on what it was, um, but I just... I didn't want to be happy because it was down or sad because it was up, so I just, but I wanted to know. So, um, then Saturday and Sunday we were out of town, and so I didn't have a scale in the morning, so that was actually a good thing. And um, I, I did pretty good sticking. Um, yeah, we went to the football game on Saturday. I didn't have popcorn because they ran out of popcorn before the second, uh, like during the second quarter, so that worked out fine i actually had peanuts but you know what i'm not i'm not sweating the peanuts anymore i'm eating peanuts who cares um so what so sunday when we got back in town i actually went to the gym and i went to swim because um my arthritis has been really bothering me really really bad and i know if i talk to my rheumatologist about it what he's going to tell me is that i should be swimming because that's what he's told me before and i just never really one, I'm afraid that I'm not, I can't tell how many calories I'm burning, but who knows how many calories anybody's burning. You know, if, if you read the treadmill, I've read things that they say that the companies that make the treadmills make it look like you're burning more calories than what you really are just to motivate you to use their machine. So, you know, who knows how much calories anybody burns using anything. But like with swimming, you really don't know what you're burning. And um, I'm not the best swimmer, but my rheumatologist had told me I should be um, doing... Um, like jogging in the pool not swimming but like actually jogging so I did like a variation of jogging in the pool I did some of like the water waste that they have and then I did like you know some swimming backstroke freestyle okay I'm one I'm getting kind of bored with doing the elliptical even though like I like that that it burns so many calories and it is like very little impact on my joints and I am still loving my weights, but I just wanted something different. So I did the swimming. So anyway, um, when I obviously I was in the locker room, I was in my bathing suit, and they have a scale in there on Sunday afternoon. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna step on the scale, with the thought that it is late on Sunday afternoon. Um, it's not my regular scale, so whatever it says, it doesn't matter. I just am addicted to the scale, so I want I stepped on. And at that point, I had been I was down like almost I think three pounds from that crazy Thursday weigh-in. And so I was, you know, pleased with that, um, especially being that it was in the afternoon. So, um, and then I didn't get on a, my scale until yesterday. And I was actually, um, this morning I was up almost a pound, like 0.9 from yesterday. So I'm to the point where I'm like, I could, I'm getting to where I could give a flip what the scale says. My husband had a very good talk with me last Thursday when I, because last Thursday was a horrible day. When I saw how much the scale said, and I really let it ruin my day and ruin my mood. And my husband told me, he said, you know what, Tanya? If, you, if that scale was up 20 pounds, it would not matter. Because you're living a healthy lifestyle. You are making good food choices. You're going to the gym. You're so much healthier than you were. Why do you care what the scale says? He's like, I, he, he hardly ever gets on the scale anymore. Um, because he said he knows he's making much healthier food choices and he's exercising more than he did before and he's happy with that And so I'm like, you know what? He's right And I know he's right. Um, I do still need to break away from the scale um, but um, I think I might take just a little bit of time, but I, I need to refocus my mind The scale doesn't need to change my mind needs to change and so um, that's my goal to work on this week I, I am gonna try to not weigh at all this week um, I'm not sure how successful I'll be but um, that, that's my goal is to not weigh at all this week until next Thursday and just focus on continue to make good food choices because um, all this week um, I've done really well I have stayed within my calorie count I have done protein first I followed the rules other you know, 
And so, um, yeah, I think the scale should be lower, but you know what, if it's not, who cares? Because I'm in the mid 160s. Um, I started out in the mid ones, uh, 270s. And so my clothes fit me exactly the same as they have been. Um, I need to focus on the positive and stop focusing on the negative. And I think something that's been getting to me lately is the, that feeling of, instead of being excited that this is my new lifestyle, it's the, um, it's focusing on, it's like the old, um, fat girl syndrome where you focus on why does everybody, why does it seem to be so easy for everybody else and I have to work so hard and blah, blah, blah. And, um, I really just need to kick that attitude to the curb because it's not getting me anywhere other than making this journey harder than what it needs to be. And, um, I just, I just have nothing to be down on myself about. Yeah, I want a snack. Yeah, I'm not, I always have to be conscious, um, to make the healthy choice, uh, snack, you know, choices for my snacks. And, um, I just need to stop focusing on the negative. And that's what I think I've been doing for the, for the last couple of weeks. And it's just, it's not getting me anywhere other than making me feel bad. And so, um, and it's not just with weight. I've been focusing on a negative at work. Um, my home life is fine. The kids are fine and all that. But like work in this journey, I've been focusing on the negative instead of the positive. And I just need to flip the switch in my head. You know, nobody can do it for me um, to to turn it around. So that that's going to be my, my goal for this week. So what else is going on this week? Um, oh, um... Last week, I, I talked about doing that gratitude jar, and I haven't gotten the jar yet, but my husband and I were actually talking about it, because we have a book, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it, it's, but it's for the kids, it's um, Emotional Intelligence or something, um, and I think what we're going to do, instead of doing a gratitude jar, we're going to do a gratitude notebook or a journal with the kids uh, for the family, and we're going to document all the happy things that happen to us as a family in this notebook, and I kind of got the idea of the notebook part from Carla on uh, Changing 56 because she does a notebook where she journals everything she eats and everything, but she also has like uh, magazine articles and, you know, she jots down things that, you know, she wants to remember that, you know, recipes, whatever. And I'm like, oh, that's a really good idea. And so we're going to do it as a family. We're going to start it tomorrow night. We're going to introduce it to the kids. And this book that we, that John's reading for the kids is like, you need to have a family motto. Like, what does our family stand for? What, what do we want to, um, uh, like we need a mission statement for our family. So that way we kind of all know what our goals are as a family and we all are working together to get there. And so we're going to do like a board of like what, what's important to the kids. And I mean, my kids are five and seven, so it's not going to be like earth shattering. But it helps them to um, buy into, you know, doing the right thing and, and being positive and keeping a, a happy attitude um, when we're doing things. Because, you know, they're kids. And I'm a mom. I yell, you know. So anyway, it's going to just promote teamwork and positivity. So um, what else? Oh, one thing I want to say, too. Was Sunday when I went to the gym and I went swimming. After I finished swimming, um, I was by myself. John had the kids at home. And I thought, I'm going to take a few minutes and go get in the hot tub and just relax. And... Um, I haven't done that in ages, and uh, I've never done that since we've been going to this gym, and it's been almost a year. And so I've decided that I think once a week I'm going to do a swimming um, workout, and then I'm going to get in a hot tub and relax, because I think I need to chill out sometimes, and I'm, I'm way too intense. I always have something going on. I'm always rushing here and there and everywhere, and so I think that might give me something to look forward to. Like if I swim and I, I put in the effort to swim and get in the pool, um, then take a few, like 15 extra minutes to just relax in the hot tub and chill. You know, like let one of my weekend um, workouts be a swim, which is good for my joints, and then have a nice relaxing hot tub. So, so that's my plan. We'll see how it works out. Uh, what else? I'm just, so, the only other thing I was going to say is, you know, I did a post in Sassy Sleevers today on Facebook, the, um, the Sassy Sleevers group, saying, you know, does anybody else have um, post-holiday blues? And, I, you know, I'm struggling. I'm not sure if it's the post-holiday blues or if it's um, the post-losing phase blues or something. You know, I said, I'll say it. You know, a few times that, you know, the losing phase is a lot is a lot of fun because you got lots of things to celebrate. But once you get to maintenance, what's there to celebrate? That you stayed the same, that you went up a little bit, that you went down a little bit. There's no celebrations there. 
And so, I don't know if I'm having, like, it's kind of like when you get married and you have all the things building up to the wedding. You got the, you know, uh, rehearsal and the shower and all stuff. And then, after you get married, uh, there's no other events. And so, it's like a little bit, of, you get, like, the wedding blues. So, I don't know if it's, like, the, the losing blues that I'm not losing anymore and there's nothing to get excited about. Or if it's just, like, the post-holiday blues that all those fun festivities are over with and, um... You know, I don't know, or it could just be the crappy ass weather that we've been having with all this rain and, you know, it getting dark early and all that stuff. I don't know. But I'm going to try and consciously make the effort to flip the switch and stop focusing on the negative and start focusing on the positive because that is what is going to help me get my head back in the game. And, you know, I've been making my good food choices. I have, I went to the gym three times last week. So, I need to pat myself on the back and say, good job, Tanya, you did what you were supposed to do. Because I did. So, that's what I'm doing. Alright, guys. Y'all go out this week and make it happen. I will. Bye.